Hot summers left state police busy stopping hot trucks. The most recent just yesterday in Clinton County where nearly a ton of rotten food was thrown away. A new state law allows police to cite the drivers of these trucks. But as News Channel 18's Kelly Roberts reports, police are hoping to improve on that law. Kelly? Yeah, Jeff, state police call the food transportation legislation a good starting point to making sure bad food doesn't end up on your table, but they admit, like all new laws, it could use a few tweaks. That's nasty. That is nasty. Black meat, moldy cabbage, flies everywhere. It was the scene Tuesday when a semi-truck was pulled over in Clinton County. News Channel 18's videographer David DeLong describes the smell. It was kind of like if I was walking down the road and some roadkill. I'd been there for three days and I walked by it. Nearly 2,000 pounds of rotten food was thrown away. Police say the driver had already delivered food to Everything OK Chinese Buffet in Frankfurt and was heading to Lafayette. One of the restaurants on the list of delivery was Fortune House. No one at Fortune House wanted to appear on camera, but they say when food shipments arrive, they look for any defrosted food that would have a layer of ice on it or damaged packaging. Any unfrozen food or damaged packaging is thrown out. With every new law, um, everything could be tweaked a little bit better. In March, the food transportation law was signed into law. It allows police to cite truck drivers who transport bad food. However, there are no set standards, and it's up to a judge to determine how harsh a penalty can be. But police are trying to get more enforcements added to the law. There are other things that could be looked at. If the refrigeration units aren't working, then they maybe be, uh, be able to put out a service right then and there. So they have to fix it before the, the truck can move again. Sergeant Rich Kelly says in an estimated 5% of hot trucks get stopped, but police say until more standards are set, they're trying their best to keep bad food off the table. But we're doing everything that we can to keep this bad food off of your plate because your families are eating at these restaurants, my family's eating at the restaurants, and we don't want anybody to get sick. The driver of the truck caught yesterday was cited for unsafe transport and temperature of food. It's not known how much he will have to pay. Kelly Roberts, News Channel 18. Kelly, thank you.